Okay, next is flexible and fixed budgets. So calculation wise, this is the last topic in budgeting. After this, we will look at theoretical parts and get questions in other videos. Okay, uh, flexible budgets and fixed budget. Fixed budget is when you give a department a budget and you tell them this is your target I don't want any variations I don't expect what the circumstances are I don't care about the environment this is the exact thing you want to achieve flexible budget is when you say okay this is a budget I have given you but maybe circumstances change maybe conditions are not as good or maybe conditions are very good so based on the conditions your budget can be actual performance can be higher or lower so obviously the first one will create demotivation it would not be fair the second one the flexible budget would create motivation that doesn't mean Fixed budget is always bad. Sometimes we need fixed budgets, especially for long-term targets. So it is okay to have a small variations in short term as long as the long-term target is achieved. <clears throat> but if we want to measure the performance of a department, uh, it is good to use flexible budget because flexible budget uh, has something called uh, controllability. So then we will be judging them on something that they have control of. So if external environment is changing and because of that there are variations in the budget, so we, we will not hold them accountable for. So in F2 level, it will not be that much theoretical. That theoretical part is more in a five level where you don't have that much calculations. So flexible budget is when we look at the actual performance and based on that performance, we create another budget that's called flexible budget. So the important thing in flexible budget you have to remember is that some costs will be fixed cost, which means they will not change whatever the activity level is. At F2 level, the thing that will change usually is the units. At F5 and other levels, there are other things as well that could change, which means according to that, we have to prepare a flexible budget. So in F2 level, it will not be that complex. So here, the only variation is units. So fixed costs, remember, according to units, they don't change. But be very careful. Some fixed costs change if activities reaches a top level. And then we have variable costs which change with activity. And the third cost you will have is semi-variable, part of which changes and part of which doesn't. So we have a question here asking calculate the budget cost allowance I expected uh, expenditure for 2016, assuming that 57,000 direct labor hours are worked. Prepare a budget for 2016 for direct labor costs and overhead expenses of a production department at activity levels of 80%, 90%, and 100% using information listed below. Direct labor hourly rate is expected to be 3.75. 100% activity represents 60,000 direct labor hours. Here, units are not given. Hours are given, we will take hours as activity. So 100% represents 60,000 hours, and 90% would be lower, and 80% would be further lower. Variable cost is indirect labor at 0.75 per direct labor. So every one hour spent direct, we have 0.75 indirect labor. And supplies, 0.375 per labor 
And then canteen and other welfare services is 6% of direct and indirect labor cost. Now 6% doesn't mean it is fixed. It is relating to something variable, so it changes as well. In semi-variable, if semi-variable is not given in question, sometimes it is not told that it is semi-variable. You have to find it yourself. If cost stays the same for all activities, then you know it is fixed. If it doesn't stay the same, then you have to check it. For example, if I take 20,000 and divide by 800, it gives, uh, divide by 64,000, it gives me 0.325. If I take 19,800 divided by 59,000, it gives me different figures. So I know it is changing, but it is not changing at equal proportion. So it could be either a non-linear variable cost or it could be semi-variable cost, but non-linear costs are not given. Obviously, you will not be able to calculate non-linear variable costs. So the only thing that will be give, given is semi-variable cost. So if it is given, <clears throat> okay. But remember, we have to find the fixed bit and the variable bit, you have the high-low method and you have the least square method. Obviously, high-low method is simple, so do that. So we will take high activity and its cost and low activity its cost. So high activity its cost is 20,800. Low activity 16. So remember, low activity doesn't have to be at the bottom. It can be somewhere in the middle. So be careful there. And divided by activities. Remember, activity is more than cost. So cost doesn't have to be more than activity. So be very careful when selecting figures. So we have the variable cost. And now we can find a fixed cost, which would be taking any activity, minusing variable cost so we have 15,200 fixed costs 20,800 8,000 fixed cost and then fixed or at per labor hour at 10 person 100 percent activity is this now fixed cost is given per hour but remember Fixed costs don't change. It means we have to convert it to total, even though it is given per uh, unit. Here it is labor, but I will call it per unit. We have to convert it to total. So everything multiplied by 100% and 100% is 60,000. So this becomes 18,000. So this becomes 60,000. So I'm finding the total fixed cost and then it will not change because it is fixed. So now I have all the ingredient that is needed to calculate the budget. So required is calculate the budgeted. This is the requirement B. The first requirement was calculate budget for 80% 80, uh, 80 activity, 90% and 100%. Let's first look at 100% activity. 100% activity, remember, is 60,000 hours. So, 60,000 hours multiplied by 0 0.75. 60,000 hours multiplied by point at, at 3.75 and 0 0.75. 60,000 hours multiplied by 0.375. And 60,000 hours multiply by 0.27. So we have a variable. Semi variable, remember, one part is the variable and another is 8,000 fixed. So fixed remains fixed. The variable changes with activity. So for 60,000, it should be 12,000. So 
let me double check this will figure okay it seems fine now adding it together we have total semi variable cost and then fixed cost I calculated here remember they are fixed so they should not change fixed costs are fixed no matter whatever the activity is it should not change if it is told it will change then it will change otherwise you will assume that it doesn't change so the total cost for 100 percent activity is 403,700 let's say this is our fixed budget and then when activity is less obviously cost should be less so they said 90 percent activity multiplying that by 90 percent would mean uh, 54,000 remember everything else would be same the thing that will change is the variable and the variable in the semi variable bit so 54,000 multiplied by 000. so because activity is less cost should be less as well okay so this is our variable you can see already it is less than the 60,000 activity adding it together we have 371,000 so if activity in a department is 54,000 obviously cost should be less than that and then we have 80 person I will leave that bit I will only do this one remember the procedure is the same they ask about 57,000 so how much uh, 57,000 is how much percent I've already calculated that here if you take 57,000 divided by 60,000 it gives you 95 percent so do the same thing variable changes semi variable part of it changes fixed cost doesn't change okay so this should be in the middle of these two you can already see it is higher than this but lower than that And fixed remains fixed and here as well fixed remains fixed so adding together so it is higher than this and lower than this so this is it for budgets calculation wise obviously we will look at kit questions as well